Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I am super excited because I have this tie-dye or actually reverse tie-dye because I use bleach t-shirt and I actually did it myself and if you are interested I do have a video for how I tie-dyed it. It's pretty big on me. I wanted to take it and turn it into a jumpsuit. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is decide how low you want your v-cut to go and we're gonna add pins there and I am also going to add pins on the shoulder where I want the shoulder to go so like it's gonna be like a strap so I think I want my straps to be from like about right there to right there so I'm gonna add pins there as well all right so you also want to mark at the back because there's a V in the back as well I'm going to use my heat erasable fabric pins for this part because I don't think I can pin behind me the next thing I want to do is mark where I want this to begin to turn into shorts and the last thing you want to do you want to take a slight girth measurement take a measurement from the front of your crotch just to the back of your butt <laughs> so yeah <laughs> This is so weird. This is like the weirdest measurement we've ever had to take because you need to know how long you need that curve to be. And so mine is about 10 inches. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? We are on our way to 1 million. Yes, I said it, 1 million. That's our goal. So definitely subscribe and share this video with everyone so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here. All right, so we have our t-shirt laid out and the basic cuts that we're gonna make at the top is we're gonna cut off the sleeves on both sides and we're gonna cut a v-neck from the inside shoulder pin down to the pin down here and also if you're going to sew this like hem the edges instead of keeping them raw you want to make sure you leave seam allowance all right so now we can completely remove our pins and we are going to fold this front side to front side and back side to back side all right, so the next thing you want to do is find the mark where you stated where you want your shorts to start. And you'll want to measure how high that is. So mine is five inches, and then I just want to go over to the other side and mark five inches on that side as well. Now using your girth measurement, you'll want to make curves on each side that start from where you marked for your shorts to start all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna walk you through this. A general pants pattern looks like this. And we're about to cut these two curves right here onto our jumpsuit. And you also wanna make sure you know which one is your front and which one is your back. So I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can better see what I'm doing. This is the front. And like I said, the front, I'm gonna give myself a four inch curve. I'm just gonna bend it slightly. And I'm also going to give myself seam allowance because we will be sewing. So I'm gonna move up a little bit and I'm just gonna use my heat erasable marker and mark this rough curve. If you are scared, don't worry, cause I am too. <laughs> I really like this tie-dye t-shirt. I like how it turned out. I don't wanna mess it up, but I'm willing to mess it up for the sake of trying something new. All right, so we're gonna move to the back side and we're doing six inches there but I'm not gonna cut quite six inches. I'm gonna cut it in to there. And then I'm also gonna cut it up the middle because we need that free. All right, let's open it up and let's see what we got. We literally now have two pieces. We're gonna lay this part on top of here. And we're gonna sew these two front sides together all the way up to the neck. And then we're also going to sew the two back sides together all the way up to the neck. All right, we just came back from the sewing machine and you can see we have our stitches going up the front and the back. So I'm gonna open it up. And that is our jumpsuit. All right, so I have it back on and this is what we get. Because this shirt is so big, that means once we cut off the sleeves, which actually I have to say, you didn't have to cut off the sleeves. So if you end up not cutting off your sleeves, just doing a V-neck in the front so that you can get it on, or even putting the snaps at the bottom, then you would just be done. You just have a t-shirt jumpsuit. But I wanted it sleeveless, something to be able to wear in the hot Houston heat. I have clips underneath here to have the crotch closed be so that I can make an adjustment. So the other thing is I don't necessarily like how long it was. So that's one reason why I put my crotch so low because I had a feeling that I would need to make some adjustments. So I still have room and I don't necessarily like this. I could just wear a bandeau with it 
and be loose and you know stuff like that which is fine but I don't know if I want to do that so what I'm going to do is I am actually going to raise it up so it's at that length it fits really well it looks better on my figure and I am going to take it in at the sleeves at the shoulders so I'm going to add a pin on each side for how far up I want to go so that it'll in turn fit more like this rather than like the you know super loose all right so I pinned that and actually you can just cut that apart and tie it and have ties at the top which will actually help you to be able to get in it much much easier um so yeah I might end up doing that maybe not but then I'm gonna put a new pin for how far I want the neck to go down and the last thing I'm gonna do to get rid of that is I'm going to add a little dart and if you're wise smarter than me certainly you can do this inside out so that you don't have to repin anything hey if you want to get more into upcycling definitely join my free Facebook group the link is in the description box it's just a group of upcyclers who help each other along when we get stuck we can show our before and afters and congratulate one another and if you're interested in learning more about upcycling and taking a class I've started doing monthly classes in my highest level of membership so click that join button down below to learn more all right so first I'm gonna cut these apart I'm not sure if I'm going to do the ties or um, sew it together. So I still have the pins in there just in case, but I'm just gonna cut them apart for right now. I'm gonna fold it in half so that I can cut the new neck angle. And then I also wanna do the same thing on the back. All right, so I have this inside out, but I can also see the dart that I put in there. I'm going to mark it so that I can take the pins out and then turn it right side out. That's why I was saying that you could have done all of this inside out, then you wouldn't have to do this part. So then once I take the pins out, I can see the line where I marked and then I can put it the other way so that it can be sewn. And I'll do the other side as well. I'm gonna go in and sew in my darts on each side. Then I am going to double fold him these edges. So that just means turn it and turn it again and make a top stitch on the outside. All right, so once you get that double fold hem in, you can go ahead and open up that seam if you want. You don't have to do this part, but you can open up that seam and add two top stitches to the front and back. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is turn it inside out and sew the crotch close. And we're gonna make sure that we line up the crotch seam from the front and back and sew that close. All right, so let's see how it turned out. I really, really love this cute little jumpsuit. I did a little turn up of the legs to just give it a little oomph, but yes, I'll definitely be living in this this summer. I tried it on with, you guys remember my um, lace blazer to just, you know, lift it up a little bit, make it a little bit more fancy with a belt and some heels. Um, but for me, just on a normal basis, this jumpsuit with these boots, I thrifted and they're Zara brand boots, but I absolutely love this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely go check out this denim top, an extreme upcycle that I did with 25 pairs of jeans using only the flat fail seams. Check that out right here. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!